Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with an amazing puzzle in multiple kinds because today's puzzle is a little padlock. It's probably the tiniest padlock I've ever seen, this one here. In addition, it is, according to my knowledge, the only copy that's existing of this puzzle. Maybe more gonna be made in the future. And in addition, it's also the first puzzle I've ever received that is made and designed in Albania. The person who made it and designed it is Sokol Kola, a sculptor from Albania who sent me this copy. It comes also with a solution sheet sealed down here of course and also with a little letter saying Sokol's Puzzle Lock. Okay that's the name of the puzzle Sokol's Puzzle Lock and it says hello Mr. Puzzle. I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel and I find all your videos very entertaining. Thanks a lot but to be honest, I do not even find all my videos entertaining myself, so <laughs> you must be really a, a really big fan, <laughs> I assume. I'm a sculptor and I like to make impossible objects. Interesting detail. However, this time you inspired me to build something different. This small prototype puzzle which I'm sending you. As you might imagine, the goal is to unlock the shackle of it. No key or tools are required and no force should be applied. I hope you have fun solving it as much as I had building it. Good luck and keep on puzzling. Here's also, by the way, an interesting Instagram channel. And if you would like to contact him, I put you a link in the video description. Beside the fact that this is a puzzle lock, it puts it also in the category viewer puzzle of my channel and you can see that the thing is very likely not a regular puzzle that was modified but it looks like completely handmade the shackle is locked i hope this will not be like a one tap open puzzle but we're gonna see later i'm sure just to mention it if you would like to send me stuff especially puzzles or some gadgets feel free to do so but please before you do so contact me that I'm aware that something will arrive so but in addition in addition I got a very cool gadget for you yeah I haven't showed you some gadgets for some time but now I got something very cool and this is this little toy here looks amazing right and super cool eye catcher it's a so-called telidoscope means it works like a kaleidoscope you look inside here and through this lens here the outside is reflected through a triangular or like a polygon shaped filter which creates very cool patterns of your surroundings and it's not a standard telescope it's called a spectroply telescope because of the material that was used this is actually birch wood dyed in different colors then glued together and then probably on a lathe turned into this nice very very cool looking shape the quality is top notch it feels super cool super smooth smells a bit after wood but nothing chemical and most important let me show you how it looks like when you look inside here it's a bit difficult therefore i just prepared my mobile oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow perfect perfect let me just glue this on here and now you can see how this looks like this, this is basically here this pad this fabric pad and if i move these pieces here down down here along you can see these triangles how they form different shapes and then if i put something else around here just for example you can see how this looks like this looks insane let me go around here wow wow perfectly for presenting puzzles as you can see Woo! Definitely recommendable, very cool stuff. I think also for children. But today, today is not about a gadget. Today is about a puzzle and it's this puzzle here in particular. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve Sokol's puzzle lock. So I just went a little closer because this is really tiny and I don't want you to miss any details. So let's just start. And let's have a first look. The puzzle seems to me like a tapping puzzle, you know, like how much can there be inside to lock this puzzle? I mean, there's not much space for a mechanism. The shackle itself probably goes down until here. So there can be only a locking mechanism in the center. And therefore I will just try to unlock it by tapping it, but no. Maybe like 
spinning it. <laughs> I mean, you can't spin it. Or, yes, you can. This would be my second guess. Also not working, it seems. Can I look inside and see something? Ah, by the way, you can see that over here, there was a hole or something drilled inside. Over here as well. And these two holes, they are not at the same height, it seems. Like so, but maybe slightly tilted like so, for whatever reason. If I shake it, no noise. If I shake it like so. Hmm, you hear this? There's some noise coming from inside. Also slight noise if I shake it like so, but definitely more if I shake it like so. There must be a pin, a magnet, or whatever moving in this direction. I hold the shackle, of course. If I don't hold it, it sounds like this. But this is not really representative. Hmm. Maybe get a little detail of what's going on inside. No chance. Hmm. If there's a clever solution to it, this would be amazing because there is nothing you can do. Yeah? Um, no detail, nothing. The shackle seems to be a metal rod, handmade. Anything, anything to discover on it? Not from first point of view, I think. I'm completely stumped up to now, completely. Not a simple single idea how to solve it. Again, what side is locked? Both sides or one side? I think this side is locked. Yeah, this side is locked. So let me just... So if this side is locked, it would mean the pin must drop down here. Sure if it oh what <laughs> what just happened huh? can't see any locking mechanism inside the, it was huh? I don't get it there's a point to lock it over here and over here but if I look inside here I'm sure if you can see this you can see there's nothing inside Oh, there's something in the center. Okay, got it. Oh, I can't get it inside again. What just happened? What did I do? Let me... I, I just... I, I, oh, now, it's, now it goes in. Huh? Whoa. No, I get it. Is that something? There's like a small thread, a threaded screw or something inside. You see? Now it's slightly sticking out. Locking this shackle in place. Now it seems to be in. Yes, and now it's coming out on the other side. So, wow, and this is why it was so confusing. You need to perfectly align it. If you do so, it's in. Let me check if this is the correct solution. Yes, yes. This is what I understood how it must look like. A small screw or thread running from one to the other side. The introduction says, first, I need to figure out which side is locked. This side must be locked now. Then it says, turn the locked side up like so and hold the lock tight and then move it fast in a circular motion. <laughs> Imagine if like so. And then, I mean, this is like, oh man, come on. This does not really work as good as my solution, I think. 
problem is if you change sides and you don't notice. Ah, here we go again. Whoo, tricky to open. Even if I know how to open it, it's tricky. Hmm, hard to say how I rate this. The mechanism actually is very clever. I usually would rate it with a 4 out of maximum 5, but since I solved it randomly, I think this would also happen to other people if you play with it for a certain time. And therefore I would rate it only with a 3 out of maximum 5. Nevertheless, a very, very cool and clever, remarkable puzzle. Interesting solution, definitely, and therefore highly recommendable. I put you the contact of the creator in the video description and that's it basically for today. Let me know what you think about this puzzle, what you think about this solution. Hit the like button, comment below, check me out on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And until next time, keep on puzzling!